Jihadist. ISIS. Terrorist. Women banned from driving in Saudi Arabia. Burqa. 9-11. Unfortunately, the term Muslim or Islam isn't always associated with the most positive attributes. In fact, the term Islam can inflict some pretty negative connotations in this day and age. For a term that means peaceful submission to God, it is a religion that is often seen in the media for all the wrong reasons. So why would a young woman who is educated, independent, and well-traveled decide to convert to a religion that is widely considered backwards? Well, it's for a multitude of reasons. Although people usually assume it's for a man, why else would a woman do that, right? Wrong. Not in my case, anyway. It's pretty dazzling how some people assume these things, though. Even asking for halal food at my local university cafe received a snarky comment from the waitress, asking if I converted for my boyfriend. Yes, I am Muslim. I'm a journalist. And I am also a traveler. Being a Muslim doesn't change the elements that make up who I am as a person. Although you can never truly express what comes from your own heart in your own personal journey, this is my story and mine alone. Traveling to Malaysia was definitely the foundation for my conversion to Islam. After deciding on a whim to go on student exchange to Malaysia, I never imagined what a crazy adventure I had set myself up for. Malaysia is my second home. It holds a very special place in my heart, and I grew immensely as a person there. I experienced some of the best and worst moments of my life, and the whole experience was filled with color, adventure, and opportunity. Before Malaysia, I knew nothing about Islam. I had never met a Muslim, to my knowledge, and I always thought of Muslims as wearing heavy black garments somewhere in the Middle East, far, far away from civilization. Yes, I also thought Muslim women were oppressed, that they couldn't go anywhere without their husbands, that they couldn't have careers and had to wear black all the time. Not that I really thought about it much. I was always in my own bubble of society to ponder too much about it. So, my somewhat fabricated image of Islam was shattered when I came to Malaysia. Suddenly, I found myself becoming curious of the pretty Southeast Asian Muslim girls with their colorful hijabs and clothes. I met many Muslim friends who became lifelong friends, who went to university, who had jobs, who wore veils, and also many who didn't, and they all seemed quite content and loved their religion. Being a journalism student, I've always been an open-minded person and have a lust for the unknown. Islam quickly became a mysterious religion I wanted to learn more about. That's when I decided to do one of my investigative articles about Muslim women's rights. This was the beginning of everything. My eyes and mind were completely opened and bursting with knowledge about Islam and the fact that women have many rights in Islam. In fact, Muslim women were legally given rights, that's including divorce, land rights, monetary rights, the right to choose who to marry, etc., in the Quran and Hadiths hundreds of years before Western women were legally given the same rights. There's even a whole chapter about women in the Quran. Malaysia gave me adventure. It kickstarted my career in journalism. It allowed me to meet wonderful, terrible, yet interesting people. But most importantly, Malaysia gave me Islam. I truly believe I was meant to go there. But let me not disillusion you. Becoming a Muslim and incorporating it into my way of life has not been easy in the slightest. It's hard and you learn more every day. People judge you. Even Muslims judge you. I'm not just going to put some holy light around it. Being a Muslim has tested my patience more than ever before, more than I ever imagined. But they say the right path is not always the easiest one. And despite how hard it is at times, it also brings an incredible sense of peace in my heart and into my life. I wouldn't have it any other way. It is part of me now, but not all of me. It makes me happy, it makes me cry, and makes me question a lot of things about society and about this life. All I can say is that I find rest with Almighty God, and no matter what I go through, I know I am never alone. <laughs>